Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we're out in the woods and uh, just having a little daddy dog day today. We're out looking for some rabbits and some grouse, and I thought I would uh, share a, a little tip with you guys. I know uh, in the past I've done a short on what is fatwood, but I'm going to show you guys how you can find fatwood. I'm going to show you the kind of forest that I'm in. So as you can see, uh, this is a new forest. Basically, this, these are all planted trees, um, so it was logged here before. Now, these aren't the, the spots usually, like these aren't the forests where you're going to find the best fatwood. But it doesn't mean that you can't find any fatwood. So, basically to find fatwood, you need to be in um, a coniferous forest. Or somewhere where there's some coniferous trees. Um, the reason for that is that basically the resin that the coniferous, like the spruces and the pines, they produce, um, is very flammable. So it sm smells like turpentine. Uh, you can even extract it and actually get turpentine out of it, but it makes a wicked fire starter uh, in the wet and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys here um, where you can actually find it. The best thing, honestly, if you were like in a, an older forest, what you would kind of want to look for is um, a tree that has fallen and decayed. And basically where those branches have come out. So, 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 so let's say that this, this tree was decayed, right? So where these, these, these uh, branch knots are, that's where you're going to find the biggest concentration of fatwood. So, like I said, this is not the best forest for this, but we do have some trees that are down. So, let's go see what we can uh, rustle up. So, here we go. We've got a dead tree right here. So, try and find yourself the biggest branch you can, especially down closer to the, the base. Because you're going to find a way bigger concentration down here. Alright, so you can see that that knot is what I cut out right here. So this was sitting right about here like this. So, crack it open. You see that ambery stuff right here? Smell it. Turpentine. All right. So this isn't. I wouldn't say that this is a one, um, like a one fatwood. But you know what? I just want to show you guys that even in a young forest, you can find it. You don't need a whole lot of this stuff, so it really doesn't matter. You don't need to find a pile of it. So let's go back. We'll try to make a fire with this and see what happens. All right, all right, guys. So, we make a nice little uh, base layer of sticks for our fire to sit on, right? Yeah. All right. So right now I'm just shaving off some of the resiny bark. We don't need that, right, Olivia? No. So again, really turpentiny. So I did uh, gather some birch bark for this. So I'm gonna put the birch bark right there. Now you can even use a little surface. Like I got my my knife sheath right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make some scrapings of fat wood. Oh, yeah. So there we go, there's some fat wood shavings. All right. So we're just gonna place. You. you will, you will. We're just gonna put the fat wood right there, okay? Okay. And then. You can say what this is. That's a hole. No, oh, told you, it's just that fires. So we got the fire, so we got a fire, fire, uh, ferris rod right here, right? Yeah. So what's over in there? It's all stuff to make fires. Okay? Oh. So, 
what we're gonna do like i said the fat wood is very very easy to ignite so i'll show you guys here we're gonna make a nice uh, there there you go look at that all it took is one really good spark that fat wood's already lit so i'm gonna let it take just a little bit here There you go, the birch bark's lit. And there we go. We got a fire. Yeah. So like I said, you know what? That would is just such an excellent, excellent fire starter for when you're out here, especially it's winter time, right? I mean, you know that finding even birch bark in a pine forest is really hard. I just happened to find a little uh, area of birch, so I lucked out. I realized you wouldn't even need the birch. Just doing this on top of little uh, little pine twigs and stuff like that is just is good enough, right? So as you can see, that was very little effort. And look, I still got this huge chunk. And I mean, like I said, this is not even the best fat wood you can get. It's a little bit wet, but she freaking started no problem. So anyways, I hope somebody learned a nice little uh, winter fire starter hack here. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, check out the rest of my content and feel free to subscribe. And if you like this content, don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up. Uh, we've got a lot more great little winter videos with me and... Me and my little buddy this this winter. Do you know do you know why we get to hang out with Olivia all winter? Huh? Because we got a new addition to our family. Yeah. Hey? Little baby Jax. So uh Allie will be at home with Jax most of the winter, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of little adventures with this little one. She's gonna be learning lots, right? Well thanks for coming guys and we'll catch you guys in the next one.